Dr. Molloy, in relation to managing risk more effectively, what do you think that public sector, especially central banks, could do to enable them manage the risks, daily risks they face, to manage it effectively? Okay. Um well, Chinadu, I've given you some templates that you could use with the course participants, uh, which, are, which, which show you the level of detail that you can go into in risk management. Essentially, there are four kinds of risk. Okay, there's what's called strategic risk. Operational risk. financial and reputational. Every organization now, even very small organizations, like little charities, little social entrepreneur organizations, small little ones, they, they all have to do a risk assessment. They also have to have a risk management system. Okay. A risk management system. And that means the board has got to get on an annual basis and sometimes twice a year a complete risk assessment of the risks facing. In, for a central bank, it would be the central bank itself. That's one set of risks. But also for the banking sector. Okay. So a risk, a, st a strategic risk is one that could jeopardize the whole mission or purpose or business of the bank. So let's say a food company was caught out, you with me, selling food it knew to be contaminated, or Volkswagen, do you follow me? Selling cars that it knew where the emissions were falsified. That could actually jeopardize the whole business, the whole, the whole thing. And so it's therefore, for example, in Ireland, the collapse of Anglo-Irish Bank Was, was a strategic risk. It cost the country 80 billion euro and more to redeem that. It nearly bankrupt the whole nation, okay? And that's because there wasn't good risk assessment being done. A lot of honesty is, is necessary. So that's a strategic risk. An operational risk would be one like a breakdown in your computer systems, or not enough staff on call to take complaints or queries, or those kinds of, if you like, just breakdown in the functioning of the organization in some way, a hygiene problem in a hospital, a, a, um, just not being able to do the business on a day-to-day -day basis. That would be operational risks. And that could include stuff like shortage of staff, uh, the, 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 the staff not being trained to do things, and so on. It has to do with the running of the business on a day-to-day -day basis. What are the risks? Financial risk is where you've overreached yourself, okay? The central bank, for example, um, has invested its reserves in risky uh, assets, for example. Or for a bank, there's lots of financial risks in a bank, uh, selling too many mortgages, etc. And a big part of the role, as you know, of a central bank is the supervision of banks. Uh, and what you're doing in the supervision of banks is essentially you're going in and asking to see their risk register and to see are they and what they do with risks is they say out of 10 out of 10 what is the what is the chances of the risk the likelihood how likely is the risk to have to occur out of 10 it could be just two okay let's say but then also what is the cost of the risk? And that's out of 10. So it could be only a chance of two. But Jesus, if it happened, it would be 10. Do you follow me? And you multiply the two, and that gives you a measure of the risk. It could be, you know, 1 and 10. 
so, so what you do is you assess the risk and then you put in what's called risk alleviation. Uh, and that's risk management. So you say, if that's a risk, what are we going to do to minimize that risk? Now, so the next one is financial risk. And then there's reputational risk. And that is things like one of your, one of your directors has a conflict of interest, doesn't declare it, or they were seen uh, uh, taking very expensive holidays, being paid for by one of the banks whom they are supervising, those kinds of things, which the, it's, it's, it's public damage. It's the reputation is severely damaged. And for a central bank, that has actually national implications. It doesn't, in Ireland, when our central bank failed, it didn't just affect the central bank, it affected the country. The ability of the country to attract foreign investment, all kinds of other things, because it's a central bank. Okay, And a risk management system is doing that on a regular basis all year round. And it's not done by one person or by a committee, it involves all staff. So you have different staff working on the alleviation of risks. Do you follow me? We'll have task forces, some frontline staff, do you follow me, uh, engaged in this thing. So everybody is kind of conscious of risk. So risk again is, is up here. It's, it's front of mind um, and you know prevention is much easier than cure. And that's why uh, if you think of anything, uh, flood, defences, all kinds of other things, prevention is easier than cure. Um, and that's what risk management is about. Okay?